For me, it's about this. It's about now. Right now, and the path I've walked along to get here. The years I gazed open mouthed and open eyed, views stretching far and wide out into the sunrise, where sometimes the naked valley tells me it's married to the very top of the vastness of everything we could ever imagine and more. Where sometimes the dust and grime dissolves into the light, cast from vulnerable open windows on streets where I feel like I've lived before. But here, right here with you all, I count my blessings. The amount of children I've fathered, three boys who are loved with every breath and tear, every molten rock, every dancing fountain of water, every fallen soul that hopes to land. I stand naked now with sweat in my hair, blood in my hands and my chest heaving, screaming into the wind and the rain, taking every violent punch of pain with every tender touch of pleasure. To know that within this velvet curtain draped around us and within this vast open space, every face is just a reflection of my own. Treat people as you wish for them to treat you, they said. Judge not until you've walked a thousand miles in their shoes, they said. Well, I only heard them say these things with tongues well intended. Spitting old bars written by wise old souls and given flight only on worn out paper under a dim light. And in time, maybe the dancers will dance. But who am I? My judgment swims in a stormy sea with a rough surface, even though I well know that when I die for pearls, it grows quiet and it grows still. My eyes fill from the tear dots that wet the cheeks of my face from when I think back and remember the black and white pictures I took in a time and a place when my first child was born. I was 19, shocked by the amount of blood and completely overwhelmed, shaken like the last autumn leaf and grateful for autofocus because my eyes could no longer see. I wasn't ready. But maybe if we wait until we feel that we are, we never will be. Like finding friends you've been searching for and found, or knowing that the foreground is as wide open as the background, and that we're swimming around inside moment after moment after moment, until no longer can you breathe the air you've been used to. Choosing to be drowned in the sound of something untouchable, something unchangeable, something profound, something that's all around us. Life is like the waves. We only have to give ourselves up like the sea does. Like when the seasons change and you see that last leaf finally fall. But this is about now. Right now. With you all. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>